Hi, I'm Katie. I'm the social media manager. I am Samantha. I'm the director. And we work at the Cattery. Yep. Yep. Okay, so we just did a $2 Tuesday about our long wait kitties. Um, actually just came up with that term on Monday because I was like, I hate calling them residents. They don't, they technically live here, but they're not permanent. And I call the other cats our permanent residents. So I don't want to be like long-term residents. It makes them sound not adoptable. So I was like, long wait kitties. <laughs> it just sounds like a, like it a, fits. yeah, like a club. Like, <laughs> what is that? Um, I don't, I can't even think of the club now. I was thinking of that. Like some, it's some show or book or whatever. I don't know. I'll think of it later. I'll bring it back up later. It was, anyways, that's their club, the long wait kitties. So we wanted today to talk to you guys about how certain kitties become long wait kitties because there was a lot of people who were very concerned about this um, and didn't quite understand how some of these cats were still with us. So on Tuesday, we had a couple of cats that we highlighted. Um, we had Tati, Bartleby, Eleanor and Rolanda, but there are a couple more kitties that I could have chosen. Those are just the ones that I have the easiest time taking videos of, <laughs> like honestly. And, and a lot of people already knew Bartleby, that's why I chose Bartleby. Um, but yeah, so. Sam, how do kitties end up becoming long wait kitties? <laughs> why? Why has um, no one adopted so, them? Sometimes it takes them a long time to come around. That's true. To wanting human interaction um mm -hmm. and sometimes you know they're going through mourning like if they lost their human yeah of a long time it takes it just takes them a while to adjust a shelter is a very stressful place for cats even yeah. even uh cage-free ones like ours yeah that you know on the outside look like it's the perfect place but they're is a lot of stress for the cats themselves like they especially think about you know a cat that came from a one-person family yeah and all of a sudden there's all these people mm -hmm. around there's and all these cats all these cats maybe they haven't been around another cat ever yep maybe they you know had one or two other cats and now they're in a room with 30 even though right. we do take the introduction process very slowly if they need it it's still a lot. It is. It's, it's it's still a lot to navigate, I feel like. Like, yeah. imagine just one day you're living at home, the next day you now live in a big compound with a bunch of other people all in your yeah. space. <laughs> like, excuse me. <laughs> like, uh, I had other siblings. They were 13 and 10 years older than me. So oh by the time I was, you know, of school age, they were out of the house. Mm -hmm. And... I just remember myself just going to kindergarten on the first day because I was basically an only child and I had like one or two other neighborhood friends. Right. And that has to be similar to how they feel. Honestly, just like all of a sudden there's all these other kids there. Like, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly. And like, I only had to go for like four hours. Yeah. They and live here now. They live here now. This is their life. <laughs> all the time there's no escape <laughs> um, some kitties i think some kitties just they do need that extra time and some of them need a lot of extra time apparently <laughs> yeah uh and unfortunately because we can't ask them we don't know where they're coming from all the time like sometimes we like tati she was found in a parking lot we don't know what her story was before that we don't know what she was up to or who she was around maybe she lived outdoors and now she lives indoors um but yeah, there are there are reasons why each because there's a couple of people saying like how does this happen like why 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 has no one adopted them? Um, the video it's very short. It's just a TikTok video or a reel. But obviously, I didn't go into detail about why each cat has been here so long or what their personality is like. It's just the fact we were just asking for help with them. Um, but Rolanda, for example. <laughs> Small story time. <laughs> I didn't even know <laughs> when I first started working here. I think I'd been here two months and I'd cleaned the adult room a dozen times or more. And I still, I had no idea Rolando was in there. Like I literally didn't know. And one day Sam was like, <laughs> what did you say? You were like, when's the last time someone um, checked Rolanda? And everyone was like, who's Rolanda? Do you remember that? I do. <laughs> she is the reason why we do room checks. Yep. She is the <laughs> 
the reason why. Because literally, Rolanda was camped out underneath this big bench and nobody ever saw her or checked for her because we didn't like no one realized except, she was there yeah except for the people that brought her in right <laughs> and the people that brought her in were not the people that mm -hmm. were cleaning the rooms and doing exactly the so, stuff with the cat so she is the reason <laughs> she's the reason. because not at that moment she mm -hmm. had been there eight months and i was the only person that knew she existed right exactly that's what i'm like that was so crazy that was not a happy day for me no that was I a was bad day really mad that was a very bad day <laughs> yeah understandably so yeah we learned a lot <laughs> <laughs> and i learned who rolanda was really fast <laughs> she's also the reason why we have weekly cat tests is she yeah she's amazing look at her she's a <laughs> She brought a lot of change to the shelter. She did. She's actually been changing recently. Um, so I've been here four years now. And it was literally only in the past couple months that I've seen so much progress. She's been wanting to be pet. Uh, she loves Bellamy. She's obsessed with Bellamy. Oh, really? She's obsessed. I didn't know that. They could oh, be in the room together. They could. She, but he doesn't like her. Oh. <laughs> Oh, unrequited love yes she <laughs> pines after bellamy she always hangs out by his door and if she if she's by the door you can pet her like she's like the tiniest cutest softest like a little bunny cat so so cute so soft but yeah if you're if she's by bellamy she'll let you pet her and that's the first time i've pet her <laughs> so i mean there's reasons why they end up long term or long wait kitties also, it's not, um, I feel like a lot of the comments were also kind of accusatory, like right. we weren't doing our job. Right. But you have to understand people don't, 99% of the people don't come in asking for what's your shyest cat that's going to hide under furniture for three months right. or eight months. Exactly. Like Rolanda. Yep. And uh, that I'm going to have to work with a lot and yep. may never come around i might be able to pet her when she's in a specific space right like i had a cat once that i could only pet when she was behind my head on the couch really that's oh. the only time i could pet her because you can't see me <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh my goodness and i didn't go out and pick her right like, at a shelter she was born in my garage <laughs> <laughs> she picked you <laughs> accidentally yeah and she was unfortunate. She had the bad luck of being the only one I was able to catch. <laughs> Darn it! <laughs> Her name was Frady. If that tells Frady. you, Frady. <laughs> How'd you get that name? That's weird. <laughs> so it's not. It's not that we're not trying to get people to adopt them, but people they have an idea of the kind of pet they want and not yeah. everyone is a rescuer right not everyone has the patience a lot of people want you know they want companionship they yeah. want they don't want a project <laughs> yeah they don't want a project yep which is fair like we're not and another thing that i love about the cattery what we do here is that we're not we don't lie about the cats yeah we're and very transparent we're just not gonna give no we want the we want it to be successful for the people and for the cat. Yep. And it would be unfair of us to give Rolanda to a family <laughs> with six kids just because they said, "Oh, she looks cool." Right. That's... Oh, she's so cute. Yeah, take her home. Yeah. She's great. She loves kids. Like, no, like we're not going to lie to you about it. We're going to be very honest with you, and we're going to tell you what it takes to make it successful. Exactly. And a lot of people just don't have time for exactly a Rolanda in their lives and that's why when I say it takes a special human that's what I mean like it's gonna be it's gonna need to literally take somebody who's looking for that project I mean I feel like if you could get Rolanda like Dominique's been working with her if you could get Rolanda to come around to you it feels that much more special but not everybody feels that way some people are like mm, that sounds like a lot of work I just want a cute cat it's gonna hang out with me yeah, now I can play with it's yeah gonna sit on the couch with me exactly it's gonna sleep with me because there's so many of those they're so well adjusted yeah <laughs> so many well adjusted kitties to choose from so yeah um the same kind of the same thing with with tati she she's sensitive um, and she doesn't like her butt touched no and no. it's hard to tell someone if you touch this cat's butt she's gonna bite you right right <laughs> just don't <laughs> touch her butt area <laughs> she gets very sensitive about that and she's very sensitive around the other kitties. She's not really fond of having cat friends. Um, now, she tolerates other cats, but I feel like she would just prefer to not have any 
kitties around her unless but like I said I said it last night on the live too it could be different in a home environment it's just so hard to know because in that room there's there's you know more than one other cat there's lots of other cats um but Tati you know she's also she's been here the longest out of all of our long wait kitties um technically I mean Wilson we've had Wilson a long time but oh Wilson came back though. exactly so he kind of got reset his clock got reset yeah because <laughs> he's been adopted um but Tati you know she's been waiting for quite a while for for reasons there are reasons it's not just people are seeing this cute cat and saying nope I don't want that cute cat I want this other cute cat I mean there's literally reasons why so. and, and it's not because we're not showing her to exactly people or we're not Yep. trying to get her adopted exactly we literally have ask us about tati on the adult room yeah. tour <laughs> talk about tati let's talk about her um just one more another thing i wanted to point i don't know if do you want to talk about how people keep saying they want to adopt her but they live super far away yeah um we only do local adoptions and we do local adoptions specifically because if it doesn't work out it usually doesn't work out within the first month Yep. And that way the cats can easily come back to us. Exactly. Um, that doesn't mean you have to live in Corpus your whole life or, you know, we put an ankle monitor on you. You're not allowed <laughs> to leave the city ever. Here's your cattery issued ankle monitor. Yeah. <laughs> it meows if you get too far away. <laughs> <laughs> but it, like, if you currently live here, you're probably going to live here for the next month. Yes. So the cats can come back to us. We're not going to send a cat that's taken so long to get adopted yeah. that realistically we're basically putting her in a brand new situation. She's been here for four years yep, and it might take her a while to adjust. Yeah. So we're not going to knowingly put her in a situation where we have to drive eight hours to go get her or a situation where the person's going to be embarrassed that it didn't work out. Yeah. And throw her outside or right. take her to another shelter that might not be a no-kill or, you know, might not take the time to know her. Exactly. And put her with a good family. Exactly. And not that's that I'm why. saying most shelters don't do that, but there are like city shelters. Yeah, that, exactly. Like adoption isn't their specialty. Their specialty is to get the cats out. Right. <laughs> take a cat, any cat. <laughs> So, yeah. or, or they get killed. So, right. I mean, that's a fearful not, cat. Yeah, that's yeah. not necessarily a bad thing, mm -hmm. but that's not the situation we want her to be in. So, yeah, that is why, like Sam said, it's not that we're not trying, we are trying. And we have um, something called Cat Buddies, where we spend the, we have like a list of cats that need some extra love and attention for whatever reason. And all of them are on there, <laughs> they're all on it, I promise. So we, we do make an effort to socialize with them and try to get them adjusted and but it, it does take it does take some time for some kitties. Some kitties just need that extra extra love and care. The Eleanor. Uh Eleanor, Rolanda, Tati, Bartleby. Bartleby. Okay. Bar Bartleby. 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 I love Bar that name. <laughs> Bartleby was born to a feral cat. Was he? Yeah, I just looked it up. Oh, thank God. I was like, I don't know his story. <laughs> I just know um, he doesn't like me. So he grew up feral. He's very, he seems on the outside to be very chill. Um, but <laughs> he has a very low tolerance for people touching him. Or That's a good way to say that, low tolerance. Doing He's anything with him, petting him. Very little patience. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The other day I was, I thought, I thought... He was um, <laughs> Alfredo. Alfredo. And I was petting him and he slapped me. I'm like, okay, fine. And I turned around and I was talking to Richard and out of nowhere, he just hit me on the top of the head. <laughs> I'm like, I wasn't even petting you anymore. <laughs> He's, you can't trust him. You can't. No, don't turn your back on him. That's when he gets you. <laughs> I had literally turned my yep. back on him. Yeah. And he hit me in the freaking head <laughs> i'm <was> so mad <laughs> oh my god that was uncalled for <clears throat> that's Especially, what i tell him it's not like i was trying to cut his right. nails or <laughs> clean his him. ears or i was just petting him yep but anyway he's like hey lady screw you <laughs> he doesn't fit in 
<laughs> he just doesn't fit into every home. No. In addition, when we're showing people around, <laughs> he could give two shits about other people in the room. He doesn't care. No. He doesn't come up to them. No. He doesn't want to interact. So it's very hard for an adopter to bond with him. Yeah, because he's like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> You're not that impressive. <laughs> God. So that's Bartleby. That's Bartleby. <laughs> and Eleanor was legitimately a feral cat. Legit. And to expand, if you weren't listening to the live, Katie kind of explained this. It was our first adventure together. Yep. Um, the foundation that uh, built our shelter for us had built a, or built, had bought a house that was going to be torn down and they said there's feral cats here come get them all yeah <laughs> we were like oh fun cool Great. it's not really what we do but okay <laughs> but we do what but we will for them yes we'll do anything for them <laughs> anything <laughs> so i can't remember i think we got like five or six cats yeah we trapped a couple and she was the last one and she was the wily list one. Oh All God. the other ones we adopted out, they ended up being fine. Yeah. Yep. Um, and so we we're thinking she was going to be fine. If, nope. <laughs> if we didn't think that sh she would have been fixed and put into the feral fence. We have a feral cat colony here at the shelter. But <laughs> we had so much success with the other ones but that we were like, oh, she'll come around. Yeah. Well, that was also four years ago yeah <laughs> and she hasn't really come around not at much. all not but much. she lived inside all this time and she's not a threat to humans not she doesn't all. attack us she doesn't even if you try to pet her she doesn't hiss she doesn't try she, to bite no, you she, she just, just runs she just, away yeah she'll freeze up or she'll run <laughs> yeah so i don't want to put her outside in the feral colony because she's just I don't know. She's, she's beautiful too. Like and she's, she's so accustomed beautiful. to the inside and she's so yeah, she's, she's adjusted. Fine. She, she likes the other cats like a lot. Her. Yeah. She she, does. she finds a couple cats that she likes every now and then. She like she really likes Daisy, but she loved Harold. Yeah. Um she likes Bellamy, even though Bellamy doesn't like her. Bellamy doesn't <laughs> like anyone. <laughs> he likes Daisy. Does he like Daisy? Remember they used to be boyfriend girlfriend. They did. Mm -hmm. Well Daisy's with Porthos now. <laughs> Daisy, Daisy kind of dates everybody. I don't know. <laughs> she's she's a hippie. <laughs> Free love and stuff, you know? <laughs> anyway, actually, she kind of has a hippie name, Daisy. Yeah. Kind of fits. Yeah. <laughs> actually, perfect name for her. It's perfect. But Eleanor, yeah, she gets along so well with the other cats. That's that's the thing is she's not, like Sam said, she's not a threat to anyone. <laughs> not the other cats, not to people. And occasionally we do get adopters that want companions for their cats that's true it doesn't have to be a cat that loves them right they just want a cat companion exactly so that does happen <laughs> and since she's been inside all this time we're laughing at logan is in the room and he's being silly so it's the cutest biscuits ever <laughs> so frantic he's <laughs> supposed to calm me down right <laughs> <laughs> So there are reasons that they're all long term and we yeah. still try to get them adopted and the end. The end. That's that's <laughs> that's it. So yeah. Um so yeah, long term long wait kitties. We've got a couple of them. And if you want a cat project and you're local, <laughs> come get one. <laughs> cat projects. That could be the next series we do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fun cat projects with Katie and Sam. How to catch a scary feral cat. <laughs> she wasn't scary. Though. I think, did Eleanor, one of the long-term residents got adopted and Bree and Gilbert had to go get them. That was Eleanor. Yeah. So see, <laughs> Eleanor was adopted. <laughs> and this person, I remember, oh my God, I'm going to give her so much time. It'll be great. And then like within a week, she hasn't come out from under the, whatever, yeah, whatever piece of furniture. And... <laughs> You're like, we t like even a, an outgoing cat can take longer than a week. Yep. So, yeah, we had to go get her. Yep. Because In... she couldn't catch her to get, bring her back. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> she was in Portland, I think. I can't say oh, that. Oh, Rams is past. She was somewhere. <laughs> Poor 
Eleanor. Anyways, they did catch her. Sent our two experts. <laughs> <sighs> but think about if that person had been in right? Mi Michigan. Right? Oh, I can't deal with this. Like, well, I don't After have to tell week. you. Yeah, exactly. Well, let us just hop a plane. Yeah, no problem. We'll come get that feral cat for me. Again. That's it. All right, guys. Make sure you... That, that wraps it up, right? Yeah. Wrapped up? Okay. <laughs> make sure you um, subscribe, like, comment, share, all that fun stuff. And ask us questions. And we will see you next week. Bye. Bye.